Hey, what's up guys? In this video I want to show you how to test a mass airflow sensor on this Mercedes C200 from 2002. As you might know, the engine always needs to have 14.7 parts of air and one part of fuel in order to run correctly. Now in order to do that, the computer will use data from the mass airflow sensor. How this works, when the air passes through the intake pipe, the sensor has a hot wire which is heated up by an amount of current. So when the air passes through that sensor, it requires more current in order to keep the temperature up. Usually the temperature is around 100 degrees above the ambient temperature. Therefore, the mass airflow sensor will work together with the intake air temperature sensor, which is located in the same unit as I'm going to show you in a minute. The most common failure of a mass airflow sensor will be a dirty one. And what happens is that when dirt goes on that hot wire, the air passes through the wire and the voltage required to keep the hot wire on the right temperature is going to be less because the dirt will prevent the cooling of the hot wire when the air goes in the engine as it will normally do when the hot wire is clean therefore the air gets inside the intake manifold unmeasured therefore creating a lean condition in your engine so if you have a look inside you will see in the middle right there there are two hot wires and then you've got down here the intake air temperature sensor how i know that usually the hot wire will sit in the middle so as you can see you've got five pins which are numbered number one pin is the signal wire for the mass airflow sensor number two is 12 volt supply is the one responsible to keep the hot wire on the correct temperature and then if there is any change you will notice it on the math signal wire then number three pin is the ground number four is again the math airflow sensor signal wire it's probably for the second hot wire in there and then you've got number five which is the sense wire for the intake air temperature sensor so with that being said let's see how we can test this with a multimeter now if you have a look on the connector you will see that the end of the wires are protected by this plastic so just remove this cover so now you can insert your probes into the connector. You've got the numbers here as well. Now when you turn the key on, in the second position, you have to measure 5 volts on the sense wire. Now if I rev up the engine, you will see an increase in demand of voltage in order to keep the hot wire on the correct temperature. Now let's say you don't get any signal from the mass airflow sensor then what you want to do is take out the unit and look for continuity on the following pins the ground and the 12 volt there should not be any continuity I touch the pin number two and pin number three with no continuity then another test you can do is between the mass airflow sensor signal wire and the power supply wire and there should be continuity now if you have alligator clips just hold the alligator clips on the pins and try to tap on the mass airflow sensor and there should not be disruption in the continuity if there is disruption in continuity it means that some hot wire is disconnected or is like half connected half disconnected you know what i mean like moving in there and by the way there should be this screen over here in order to even up the airflow the grill on the MAF sensor has the same effect as on a water tap. If you remove it, the turbulence of the air will basically make the engine run lean instead of increasing the power. Now also keep in mind that even if you get a mass airflow sensor code, it doesn't mean that the sensor is bad. With these tests, you can 100% confirm that you don't have to replace the mass airflow sensor and it's more likely a reference code thrown by, let's say, an oxygen sensor or a vacuum leak somewhere. Now let's say you can't find 12 volts on the input wire and you don't have continuity between the ground and the 12 volt input wire. One thing you can do is to turn the multimeter on 10 amps and connect one terminal on the positive of the battery to the number 2 pin which is supposed to deliver 12 volts. 
If in this case the MAF sensor begins to work, then it means the wires are broken or short-circuited somewhere and you don't need to replace the MAF sensor. Alright guys, that was it. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video useful. If you are new to this channel and you want to see more car repair videos, make sure that you subscribe. And until next time, take care and I will see you soon.